LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, but have different retainer clips underneath the keys. To help you find the correct repair video for your keyboard, we've created a searchable database. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, enter your laptop brand and model number, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on View Videos. A list of all compatible videos will appear. Select the retainer clip model that matches your keyboard. That's all, you're now ready to repair your laptop keyboard. We will be showing the removal and reattachment of the K key for standard size keys, Shift for the wider set keys, and F10 print screen for the top row small keys. To begin removal of a standard size key, use a tool or your finger and insert behind the top right corner of the key, apply gentle upward pressure, and the key will remove itself. To remove the retainer clips, simply support the top of the clip with your finger, take a tool, and insert at both of the bottom corners and apply gentle upward pressure until the clip pops off. To attach a new key, begin with the retainer clips. On the bottom clip, there are two holes here with an upward facing notch at the top facing upward. On the top clip, you will want the flattened edge of the circle towards the bottom with the two squarer holes towards the top. Simply clip the two together, hook from the top using metal hooks here and here, firm presses, take your keycap, align with the retainer clips, press firmly, and the key is reattached. To remove the wider set keys, Simply take your tool or finger, insert behind the top right corner, and apply gentle upward pressure around the key, continuing around the edge, to remove from the retainer clips and metal arms. To remove the metal arms, simply push one edge to the side, lift and remove. Repeat for the second arm, push to the side, lift, and remove. To remove the retainer clips, support the top of the clip with your finger, insert your tool at the bottom, and apply gentle upward pressure, and repeat with the opposite side until both clips are removed. For reattachment, begin with your clips. For the bottom clip, there will be a notch facing towards the top of the bottom clip with two holes on either side. And for the bottom clip, there will be two holes lower the main hole towards the bottom. Simply attach the two together, hook from the top where the key belongs, press down, reattach the metal arms using the holes here, 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 and here using the top set of holes for the top arm and likewise for the bottom. Take your keycap, place on top of the metal arms and clips, firm press, the key is reattached. For the removal of the top row keys, use your tool or finger to apply gentle upward pressure to the top right corner of the key until it pops off. To remove the retainer clip, support the bottom of the clip with your finger, insert a tool towards the top, and apply gentle upward pressure until the clip is removed. For reattachment, start with your clips. There will be two holes at the bottom of the bottom clip and two holes at the top of the top clip. Connect the two together. There are hooks here and here that the clip will connect to. Hook from there. Lay down flat with a small push. Take your keycap, 
align with the retainer clip, give it a firm push, and we're functional. We'll now show you how to remove a laptop key. Simply pull on the edge of the key in a gentle but firm motion. Lift up and remove the key. It's that simple. If your key is loose and not sticking properly to your keyboard, your retainer clips are likely broken. This issue can be fixed by replacing your retainer clips. Replacement laptop keys and retainer clips can be purchased at LaptopKey.com. LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys.